Hey crafty friends, it's Amanda with Pear Blossom Press. Thanks so much for joining me on this stop in our Hop with Whimsy stamps. Today I'm going to be showing you how to light up gems or sequins that you glue to the front of your card. Don't worry, it's very easy. As a matter of fact, all of the designers in the Hop today are going to be sharing videos with different light up cards, and I think you'll see how easy it is with our easy lights. So let's go ahead and dive in here. I'm going to share the parts of the card before we get started. I'm using Whimsy Stamps Stinker Bell stamp set because I think it's hilarious. Um, the little sentiments crack me up in there. So I've gone ahead and stamped my fairy and cut her out with my Scan and Cut. She's cut, uh, colored with Copic markers. I did that off camera because I'm slow. And then I've also cut out the sentiment that says poof. And for my card, I've got a frame out of green paper, a card front, a card base, and then a matching green envelope. Um, since it's a light up card, I also need a stamp that will say like push here and then I want a little one that says pull me um, for a little, I'll show you that for a tab for the battery protector. Now since she's holding a wand with a star at the end, I wanted to use star shaped gems and these are the easy lights that we'll be using to light them up. And just like the name says, it's very easy. If you just want to see the lights, go ahead and skip to about four minutes and 30 seconds in the video. But I want to show you how I prepped my pieces here. So I have the card front and I'm going to be adding a little bit of green ink blending around the edges. I really like these blender brushes because they give me um, control. It's a smaller brush, so I get smaller area um, control there. And I want to kind of load more ink on the left side and leave the white a more bright area on the right side because that's where the lights will be. So it should, you know, have more of a glowing look there. I also wanted to do the frame. Um, I needed to switch to a slightly darker ink for the frame, um, but still greens. And I didn't go crazy with a lot of like splattering or anything like that because I'm going to stamp in some stars in a minute, but also this is kind of a cartoony look and there's not a lot of shading usually with cartoons. Um, so I was kind of keeping the cartoony theme in mind there. Once I've got my ink blending done, I want to do a little bit of stamping. So I lined her up in my mini misty and um, I'm just going to get that like starburst um, behind uh, where the wand is first. I'm actually going to stamp it three times, but you don't want to watch me stamp it over and over again. <laughs> um, so three times for each area. I'm going to clean it off in between, and then I can line everything back up and move this starburst to where I want the um, each light to be. So we'll have one light underneath her wand, and then one above and one below. So I'm just going to line it up and I can have the, the starburst go a little bit under the frame as long as the area where the star itself is is still in the frame because uh, it, it will be sticking up a little bit. So I did the same thing with this, the third starburst there. And then for a little more just magic kind of going on behind her, um, I've got a little cluster of stars there and I'm not using my Misty for this. I'm just going to stamp it on a block, but I've got it held in my Misty. And since that's the first time I've used that stamp, I did stamp it off on a little scrap piece of paper. And I'll just stamp it a few times, and that's in that same green ink that I blended the background on. Um, so it's kind of tone on tone, and it has just a nice little confetti look. And I don't have to have it perfect. It's not that big of a deal but it will uh, just add a little bit of something to the background. Once I get all of my little stars in place there and make sure I'm happy with it, I'm also gonna pull out my envelope and then I wanna stamp just some, just one little cluster of the stars on the front there, just so my envelope's dressed up a little bit more. And then now let's take a look at the lights. So these come in different packages. This happens to be a pack of five. You just snap them apart. They come with the batteries and you slide in the battery. And then I've got the three little wires there with lights at the end. So you can see the little purple button. You push that, the lights come on. And because the lights are on wires, you can place them wherever you want. But just think of this as like a little flat flashlight. It's super easy to use. Now I want to mark where each little light is going to come through and since I'm using this little uh, punch here, 
I like to mark it with a pencil just because it's easier to actually see the center. And the center one was a little too far for my uh, punch to reach, so I used my pokey tool. Now I want to elevate her. I could have just glued her flat or even stamped her on the background, but I wanted to pop, like puff her up just a little bit there. So I'm using tiny little foam squares. I put one right behind the star and then I punch through the whole thing. So the light will actually come up through, um, through the backside there into the wand. So I needed to punch a hole. And I added some more of those little foam squares all behind her. And then before we um, actually attach the lights, let's attach the battery. I'm going to use some strong double stick tape here. And I just uh, put it on the back there. I will bring my frame down and make sure that, that I'm placing it low enough so that it's not going to be visible. And I'm just going to go ahead and stick this right to the front of the, the card front there. And then now I'm going to punch a hole for the wires. I'm going to make this hole a little bit bigger. It's kind of dirty. It's not a big deal because nobody will see it. But I just want to make it big enough to push all three of my wires through. And I'm carefully threading them through because I don't want to like make any sharp bends in those wires. You wouldn't want to accidentally crack them. Um, but they're pretty hardy. And once I've got them threaded through to the back, I'm going to separate them. And I will stick one... I'm actually going to punch it and push it all the way through the front of the card uh, for the center one because we need to have a little bit of room for the wand. Um, so we'll push the extra back in a minute, but for now I just want to push it all the way up through so I don't lose track of it. And for the other two, we're just going to line them up at those holes. And the, the, the little lights, they're pretty small, but they're about the same size as that 16th inch punch there. Um, or your pokey tool, it'll be fine. And I'll just tape it in place. And I'll do the same thing with the other one. Now, there is a front side and a back side to the light. The little yellow dot, you want that to be poking through because the, the yellow side is the light. And the back side, you would see it. It has the wires. Now, you can see we've got our two flush with the card. And then we've got our other wire coming through the center there. So I just peeled back the release paper for that foam dot that has the hole all the way through. And I'm going to go ahead and stick the light inside there. And it's it's tiny, so it takes a little bit of fiddling. Um, in fact, it actually popped out. <laughs> so I'm going to use my pokey tool and kind of just push it in a little bit more. I'm being careful with the pokey tool. I don't want to accidentally like break one of the wires off or anything like that. But... Once I push it through, you can see all three of them light up. And then we can just go ahead and pull off the release paper on the rest of the, the little foam pieces on the back of her. And then I'll push it through um, the extra wire, just kind of pulling it back through, but I don't want to pull it out of the wand. And then I can stick her down to our card front there. And our wires are... Um, all in place. So I'm just going to add a little bit of tape behind this third one. And you can see the the rest of the wires are a little unruly. You don't have to do this, but I, I tend to just curl them up. And I'm, I don't know, it's kind of like brushing your hair, you know, <laughs> just makes it a little bit cleaner on the back. But it's, it's not really that big of a deal because nobody will see it. So you can see lights are in place. Hard part's done. And it's not even that hard, right? Okay, so now here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our gems, and you can use any gems or sequins that don't have like a solid silver back. Sometimes they paint um, like an opaque silver mirror finish on the back. If it has that, you either have to scratch through it or you can't use those because the light won't go through the silver paint. But any of the gems that are like translucent or clear... Um, and they don't have the silver on the back, you can just glue them right on top of those lights and they will light up. And it, it's really cool. I actually did a, like a Rudolph with a red gem, that kind of thing. So you can use them for all kinds of different things. And then now I'm just going to go ahead and glue her to the card uh, base. So she's kind of sitting there ready to go. And before we attach the rest, we need to do some stamping. Uh, remember that little stamp set there? I do carry this in my shop uh, because it's perfect for interactive cards. I'm going to pull out the uh, Pull Me 
little stamp there and I'm stamping this on that 5 8 inch strip it it's gonna this is kind of a step that you would only use if you're gonna mail the card if you're gonna give this card to somebody in person then you don't have to do this but it just says pull me and we're gonna slip it underneath the battery and I'll show you that in a minute um, but it'll protect the battery for mailing now for the front where it says push here I just lined her up into the uh, the misty there and then I put the stamp right on top of the button so then I could put the frame in the same place and make sure it was perfectly lined up and you can see here this is what I mean by um, the little pull me tab um, I just I'm going to trim it down a little bit so that it won't stick out too far because we want it to be able to fit in our envelope but you can see I just slide it in place and once I do that the lights stop working so if you were to mail this if something were pushing on it for a long time in the mail it could wear down the battery so this way your recipient will have a fresh battery when they receive it and then in order to um, account for the thickness of the battery. The, the battery is about as thick as a double layer of foam tape. So I do have this um, double layer or double thick foam tape in my shop. And one of the things that I really love about this uh, foam tape is that the release paper comes off so easy. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I hate it when I have to fight with the release paper. Uh, so I really do like this, this particular one. You can see it just pulls right up. Um, so I put it all the way around the edge of the frame, except where it's going to be sitting on top of the um, battery pack there. And then I can just stick it down. And then we need to add our sentiments. So I've got that little poof. And I think it's super cute. And it kind of, you know, goes along with the magic theme here. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue it to my card front. Or the the frame there and I'm kind of lining it up slightly above the the button um, and I did stamp the button the the push here with um, darker green ink I tend to do tone on tone uh, just so that it it kind of blends in a little bit now for the sentiment inside there are some really funny sentiments in that stamp set um, I chose your 29 again because I thought that was kind of hilarious <laughs> and who doesn't want to be 29 again right um, so I stamped that inside and then we're just going to add a couple more little finishing details to the card I've got some little tiny holographic stars that go with the other stars so I glued those down and then I've also got a little bit of sparkle pen for her wings because I think every fairy should have a little bit of shimmer right and you can see our card is all finished here. We'll go ahead and pull out the little pull me tab. Don't worry, I can stick that back in before I mail it. But now all of the gems light up when you push the button. You've got the funny little saying in our matching envelope. So I hope that you've enjoyed this and you can see how easy it is to light up the different gems or sequins in your stash. Don't forget to hop along with us. And if you'd like more information on Easy Lights or any of the products that I've used, you can find those in the links below. Uh, you can also find the next stop in the hop. Don't forget to leave comments and you know enter for your chance to win some of the fun prizes. If you're new to the channel, feel free to click subscribe, ring that bell so you can see more videos like this in the future. And after you're done hopping, feel free to come back for a few more videos. As always, my friends, thanks for watching.